Did you know that a horse's hoof is essentially a single toe, able to carry tremendous amount of weight? These extraordinary structures have played a key role in the horse's success as a species. Here are 5 weird and bizarre facts about horses' hooves you'll want to know. Number 1. Foals are born with tentacle-like projections on their hooves. This tweet by PhD student Yara Haridi caused a major social media hype about these weird structures. People were wondering, what on earth are these and why has no one heard of them before? In order to understand why horses need such alienish accessories, we need to look at their lifestyle. When giving birth in the wild, horses attract predators that pose a threat to their babies. To maximize the chances of survival, newborn foals must be able to run at the first sign of danger. To do this, they need fully formed hooves that will carry their weight. However, since hooves are made of keratin, a tough protein also found in our hair and nails, they could easily damage the mare's uterus during pregnancy and birth. So nature invented these bizarre slippers to protect the mare's birth canal and give the foal hooves to run on. Their scientific name is Apennychium, but horse people just call them fairy fingers or golden slippers. Just like the hoof, they are also made of keratin and have a rubbery, almost fish-like texture. You have to be quick to snap a photo of them as they begin to harden up soon as they make contact with the air. As the foal starts walking, this hoof capsule will gradually wear down until all we can see is their tiny little hooves. The last remains of the structure should disappear within 48 hours, but the bottom of the hoof might remain squishy for days. Number 2. Hooves act as the horse's second heart. Like, literally. A horse's lower legs are made up of tendons, ligaments and bones. There are little to no muscles here, so the blood needs extra help to circulate efficiently. If you pick up a horse's foot, you'll see a triangle-shaped structure stretching halfway across the sole. This is called the frog and it's part of the horse's circulatory system. Every time the frog hits the ground, blood and lymphatic fluid is pumped back up the horse's leg. However, this system is only effective if the horse is constantly on the move. A lot of horses today are kept in stables with limited turnout. Standing around all day slows down the hoof's pumping action often causing the horse's leg to swell up since too much fluid is left in the lower parts. This condition is called filled legs or stocking up. It may cause the horse to be a little stiff, but it's nothing to worry about. Stocking up can be easily prevented by allowing the horse plenty of exercise or using stable bandages. These put pressure on the horse's lower limbs and prevent fluids from accumulating here. Horseshoes can also restrict the hoof's normal functioning. In order to send blood back up the horse's leg, the frog has to make good contact with the ground. However, since horseshoes lift the hoof off the ground, this doesn't happen on harder packed surfaces. As the drawbacks of shoeing are slowly uncovered, more and more owners choose to keep their horses barefoot, that is, without shoes. However, this is a whole other video, so let's move on. Number 3. Neglected hooves can grow into spiraling shapes like these. Just to clarify, these are extremely neglected hooves. It takes many years of abuse for a horse's feet to look like this, and it's not something you see very often, even on the internet. However, it does happen. These shocking images were released by Days and Farm Horse Rescue in Maryland, United States, who rescued three horses from a property with severely neglected animals. According to the charity's farrier and veterinarian, this was the most extreme hoof neglect case they've ever seen. Sadly, the little male called Piper had to be put to sleep, but the two stallions went on to recover. Still, why did their hooves grow into these weird shapes to begin with? Well, first of all, a horse's hoof never stops growing. This is likely an evolutionary advantage, as not long ago horses had to travel vast distances for food and water. This meant that their hooves would wear down very quickly, unless they are constantly being replaced with new material. However, if horses are left to stand on a soft surface for long periods of time, like these poor animals were, there is nothing to prevent the hoof from becoming oversized. As the horses walked around in the small enclosure, they inadvertently put pressure on the tip of their long hooves, causing them to roll upwards and spiral like it has. Overgrown hooves can cause a variety of health issues, such as arthritis, muscle and bone loss. Walking on them is difficult and painful, especially if the hooves have grown to several feet long. 
treatment for these horses involves close collaboration between the vet and the farrier. Once the majority of the hoof is removed, the horse will require corrective trimming for several months before it can walk normally again. Hopefully, raising awareness about these cases will help prevent such neglect from happening again. Number 4. A single hoof can withstand several times the horse's body weight. Horses' hooves were designed to carry enormous amounts of load. During gallop, there is a phase where the entire horse is supported by a single foot. This foot will carry up to three times the horse's body weight, depending on how fast the animal is running. This is possible thanks to the well-adapted internal structure of the hoof. As it happens, the hoof is flexible enough to expand under the horse's body weight, absorbing 70-80% to of the impact. This shock-absorbing ability spares the delicate bones and joints from getting hit by concussion every time the horse puts its foot down. Instead, the frog distributes these forces to the internal digital cushion, where they are dispersed. When the foot breaks away from the ground, the hoof does the opposite and flexes, grabbing the surface that is underneath. This is basically the horse's traction system that prevents the animal from sliding on soft ground. The hoof's mechanism is wonderfully convoluted, and if you want to learn more, I recommend you check out the resources below. And finally, our final fact number 5. Hoof quality is determined by its moisture content. Extremely dry or wet weather can take a toll on your horse's hooves. Normally, a healthy hoof wool is able to maintain the hoof's natural moisture balance. If, however, the hoof wool's water content drops below 20%, it will start to dry out and crack up. This will cause moisture to evaporate from inside the hoof, making the structure less flexible and more fragile. If you're worried about your horse's hooves during hot summer days, you can do two things. Either submerge each foot in water for 10 to 15 minutes, or coat them with a dual action conditioner, but more about these later. You'll also need to monitor your horse's hooves in wet and muddy weather. If the hoof wool's moisture content exceeds 30%, the hoof will be more susceptible to diseases like thrush. Thrush is a nasty infection of the frog that produces a foul-smelling black discharge. It's caused by a bacterial or fungal invasion of the hoof during damp conditions. Thrush can become very painful for your horse and it's best prevented. Make sure your horse's stall is kept clean and dry, with plenty of bedding to absorb moisture. If your horse must be out in a wet and muddy field, you can use a dual action conditioner to prevent too much moisture from entering the hoof. So what's so special about these products? Well, they replace the hoof's natural moisture barrier that's worn off during riding or shoeing. Unlike oil or tar-based conditioners, it gives the hoof long-lasting protection against infection. When applied to a clean, dry hoof, dual action conditioners act like an impermeable barrier to water, which is how they maintain correct moisture levels. We hope you enjoyed these 5 fun facts, make sure to check out our other videos too!